Welcome to Sawite online video tutorial. So today, I uh, will be taking a look at how to edit image background. How do you remove an image from a background? Okay, so we have our image here on the printable layout. So select the image and then click on your bitmaps menu. Take a look at the bitmaps menu up there. Then select edit bitmaps. Okay. So, once your edit bitmap is clicked, then you give it some time. Depending on how fast your computer is, the bitmaps menu takes uh, some time to load up. And then, the next environment we're expecting to see is the Corel Paint environment. So, this is the Corel Paint. Once you click on edit bitmap, it takes you to the Corel Paint, loading the image. Then, see the image menu on the Corel Paint then you will see Cutout Lab. So you click on Cutout Lab. This is the Cutout Lab environment. So from the Cutout Lab here, this is where we cut out the image from the background. So we'll be taking a look at the Highlighter tool. So this Highlighter tool allows you to actually highlight the image. It's like selecting the part of the image that needs to be extracted from the background. You can as well change the size of the highlighter tool okay uh the size of the highlighter tool there allows you to you know if you take a look at the pointer you will notice the size keeps it changing and then use the highlighter tool to select that's why they call it highlighter so you highlight around the image make sure you're selecting the boundary between the image and the background you need to extract it from okay and then while highlighting also take note of this there should be no space in between the boundaries of the image you are highlighting make sure there is no gap in between use the highlighter to carefully select around the image make sure a part of the highlighter to is uh taking the background while the other part of the highlighter to is actually taking the image just try and carefully using the highlighter to select round the image okay so let's see how it goes this is what you do carefully you select it round make sure you don't give a space okay try to highlight it carefully all right then you join back from your starting point all right so this is what we have so the next thing we need to do before then uh, also observe there are some images that will give you some uh, maybe some of the backgrounds appearing somewhere in the midst of the image like what we have here so reduce the size of your highlighter to to enable you select that space showing the background there okay all right so once you're done and then go back here you will see your fill tool okay this is your fill tool the fill tool allows you once you use the fill tool you can fill click any part of the image okay the highlighter tool uh you will find out that the color will be filled and then you click on your okay and then it takes you down here wow this is done all right so you can simply go to file and save this particular image okay or you just or replace it directly with the one you have on your code draw by simply closing this your bitmap menu it will ask if you want to you know change the bitmap already on the code draw it's like replacing that former image with this one yeah okay and then it's done you can close your Corel paint window as well okay and so we now have our image extracted i have a background there behind i can bring that one uh, to the center of the printable layout probably order this image to the front okay and then reduce the image you know and place it somewhere on the background i have okay so i've successfully edited this image i've successfully extracted the image from the background 
a whole lot of people normally have issues extracting uh, backgrounds or image from a background using their correct draw. So this is as simple as how to go about it. Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.